Hey everybody, this is Julen and Ebby. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm here in Las Vegas wrapping up 2018. I'm dancing every day for Christmas and New Year's weekend here in Las Vegas. I am actually filming outside because our house is really dark at 3.30 p.m. So our house is behind the camera. I thought it'd be nice to go ahead and film outside, but I'm also dealing with a lot of airplanes and cars coming by. So just bear with me. It is on the chilly side here in Las Vegas, so I have layers on and Evie has a cute little top that I think my mom gifted her. So in today's video, I thought it'd be fun to do a Plat Talk Q&A and this is something I haven't done on my channel moving forward into 2019. This is something that I would like to do once every three months where I scroll through the comments section, pick out a handful of questions and highlight a few comments that really stuck to me. And it's also just a nice way for me to connect with you guys. And as much as I want to reply back to every single comment, uh, there are so many of them, but I do read them all and I will try to answer a bunch of them today. So what I did was I sat down in front of my computer for the last three hours and I read every single comment over the past three months and I have a bunch of them that I want to go ahead and answer. I would also like to go ahead and share with you my thoughts on my plant year for 2018 and also my plant goals and things that I want to do for 2019. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I screenshot a bunch of them and I'm just gonna go in no particular order. So here's the first question that I want to answer from Sonia Bebington and this was on one of my Planting with Julian episodes. And she asked, how often do I switch planters? And this was probably in regards to my Monstera. But just in general, if you watch my Planting with Julian episodes, if there's a certain plant that I find better to work into a different planter that comes into my collection after I have planted it up, I will go ahead and do a quick switch. For me, it personally doesn't stress out the plant. And if I feel like it's a better home for my plant. For me, I've never had any problems when it comes to switching. Although what I do want to say is I do choose certain type of planters like my begonias or my finicky plants. I would love to have them in a breathable planter like a terracotta. So maybe sometimes in my Planting with Julian episodes, I may not have any terracotta planters available. When I do have them, I go ahead and switch them out. Tropical Garden Lover. And the question is, is it not hard to take care of your plants? You have so many. So with my collection, yes, it is very huge, but it's something that I've kind of put into my routine. So I know for my succulents and my cactus, they're kind of very self-efficient. I don't have to do a lot for them. And I do maybe water them once or twice a month, depending the time of the year. During the summer, I do water them more often. And right now during the winter, I really don't have to do anything for them. And uh, that's pretty much it. As far as for my house plants, I do water them once a week. And the babies in my home, they get watered in the shower. But for the most part, uh, I don't find it very hard for me to take care of 200 plus plants. And also my plants in Las Vegas are very low maintenance. I'm out here twice a month. So when I'm here, I take care of them when I'm here. So it works out well because the plants in my Las Vegas homes are very easy to take care of. They're not like house plants where they need to be watered every so, week. So here's another question uh, posted up on my grandma's plant collection in Hawaii. And she says, why would you leave Hawaii? It's so beautiful the whole year. So I've been in Hawaii my whole life. I'm born and raised there. I was born on the big island. I lived on Oahu for about nine years until I moved up to California. I've been up in California now for nine years. Uh, but I've done so much in Hawaii that being the type of person where I am, where I'm the creative type and I'm a very adventurous and if you keep up with me and on my vlog channel and on my social medias, you know I do a lot. So being in Hawaii, I love going home to Hawaii and the weather is great all year long. Very fortunate to have been able to grow up in Hawaii, but where I'm at right now and with all of my different careers, it's just best that I live in Southern California. For and the most part, Santa Monica, the weather is good all year long compared to like the east coast like right now you know i'm wearing like a denim jacket and this is good enough for me right now and it is coming into the beginning of january so you know it could be worse i don't live in snow so that's that's really good and one reason why i love southern california a lot of plant friendly weather all throughout the year so lenny posted on my meet my plant friend episode featuring tanya uh asking me if i ever thought about looking for a facebook group for plant trading in my area and that a lot of YouTubers are doing it and thought I love the idea. I know I definitely love the idea of trading plants with friends. I do that all the time on my Meet My Plant Friend episodes and just in general in my little 
plant circle of friends. I think if I ever went to a plant swap, it'd be very hard for me to leave there happy because my plant collection is so big. It's like I have my own personal nursery that I think most of the people probably showing up would probably want trades from me and probably wouldn't have like the very rare plants that I'm looking for. So if anything, if I see somebody with one of my dream plants and if they're willing to trade with me, um, I think that'd be cool to do a trade that way and I think that would be best for me and where my plant collection is. And I'll go ahead and talk about my dream plants that I want to get for 2019 after I go through the comments. So here's another comment following up on that one. This is posted by Cheryl on one of my plant haul cuttings asking me if there's any plant swaps in my area. I don't know if there's any plant swaps in my area. I know an Instagram account reached out to me out here in Las Vegas to come to their plant swap, but I'm gonna be in Egypt, so I won't be attending. Although it'd be really fun to just go and see what kind of plants people bring. By Mew Mew G, and this was on one of my uh, Santa Monica plant hauls, and she says she loves the begonias. And did I know that the flowers are edible and quite delicious too, uh, that she would eat it when she was young. Um, I don't want to eat my plants and even if they're edible and the flowers are edible and delicious I love the bloom so I wouldn't eat them but that's a little fun fact so thanks for sharing that so here's another comment on my Santa Monica haul by Bella loves you she asked how can you propagate begonias so I propagated begonias once and these were plant cuttings from Tanya if you watch I think my first episode featuring her plant collection and what I did was I just stuck it in water propagation which I probably did on one of my planting with Julian episodes it gave me water roots and then I eventually potted them up uh, but also I did see on the internet which I didn't do this yet because I am not in need of wanting to propagate my begonia this bad but you can propagate it by leaf cutting by section it off with a blade and then sticking like the larger uh, veins of the plant cuttings into the dirt and then it'll eventually root up on you maybe in the future when I have time I'll go ahead and do that just as an experiment for the channel also let me know down in the comments below if you propagated that and if you ended up doing it by the water propagation way and getting water roots I find that to be the most successful way from my Las Vegas haul by Dina and Young she says that there she has several 99 cent stores that she visits often but hasn't seen those I'm thinking it's probably my white planters or just planters in general what I do want to say about that is with the 99 cent stores that I go to in Las Vegas and Los Angeles they're all different when it comes to their products so it depends on the location that you go to it might be a bigger or smaller one also at just the time you go maybe it might have been sold out or maybe they're in stock and they just so you just never know with the 99 cent store I find myself having more better luck in Las Vegas at the 99 cent store that I go to on 215 and Tropicana which is above our house which is the nearest one to here uh, other than that the one in Santa Monica sucks I don't like going to that one and the one that's by my fitness club in West Los Angeles I hate going to that one because parking is really bad although that one is a really big location I know for sure moving into the new planting season after Egypt I would love to go to the 99 cent store here and see what they have and if they have more of those white ice cream planters I will buy them all out I love those so, so much here's a question regarding the curly spider plant and just spider plants in general about propagating it and having water roots and putting it into soil and then it dies what are you doing help so when it comes to propagating spider plants i do have a meet my plant episode featuring my spider plant i really wait to have the roots on the babies really really long and then i go ahead and propagate them but if the roots are really small i let them be until they get a little bit bigger i leave them in the water until they get long water roots then i go ahead and plant them up i don't do much to them i've never found the spider plant to be a very hard plant to propagate the problem that you have what i would do is i would take the spider plant cutting back out and i would put it back into water so they can get more water roots and then try and replant them and then once you go ahead and put it back into dirt just missed it and let it be for a couple of days and then check on it. Also let me know if you fixed your spider plant cutting problems. I'd love to hear what's going on. So here's another comment on the same video and this is from Miss Gina Bina and she asked me where I get my macrame. Wow. 
Apparently there's a lot of planes here. If you guys are interested in my potting tray or my macrame hangers in my patio, my link to my Amazon store is in my description box. So go ahead and check that out. So here's another question posted from the same video from Yuen Tien. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And she says she loves my plant videos and feels very inspired watching me plant. Thank you so much. How do you deal with bug things as most of your plants are placed outside in your so patio? During the summer when I'm doing my planting with Julian episodes, you probably hear me complain about my ant problem. So the particular home that I'm living at in Santa Monica has a lot of ants. And I'm not the only one dealing with ant problems in Santa Monica. I know Anya is and a bunch of people who live in the area deal with ants during the summer. So it's definitely a Southern California problem. I live right under a big tree, so I think that's also probably making the ant problem worse than what it should be. But that's about it. I do see spiders here and there, but I don't think they're really affecting my plants. But I think if anything, what stresses me out the most is ants because if I'm watering my planters, and the water sits underneath the planters, they'll go ahead and go under the planters and feed on that water. So I, yeah, not looking forward to summertime and dealing with them. Paterella, if I'm pronouncing that right, and she asked me, how is my Addisonii doing? So if you watch my plant tours recently, it's doing pretty good. It's living in my patio full time. I know like if it gets watered a little bit too much from the rain and it's been raining a lot in the last few weeks, there is a little bit browning here and there. I'll go ahead and prune it off when I go home tomorrow night. But I love my Monstera Edisonii. And if you guys are interested in getting uh, cuttings off of it or if I have rooted cuttings, I know I just sold one to one of my subscribers. So reach out to me if you guys see a plant that you like in my collection. If I can get a baby from it, I have no problem uh, selling off anything to you guys. And I love doing that. You guys are actually my real plant friends, which I think is really cool. So here's a comment left by Cheryl on one of my Planting with Julian's and a plant haul video. She says, I love your videos. You should really start your own business. Imagine having your own garden center. And ideally, that would be a dream for me. So if you keep up with me and everything I do, I'm for the most part my own boss. I do work for two Pilates companies, a privately owned studio and a big fitness club in Los Angeles. But other than that, I create my own Answer schedule. That question, I would love to open up my own plant shop. Uh, I just would like to have it in a place where there is summer all year long. So probably Santa Monica would be a good place for me to start, especially right now where the plant community and the plant scene is right now. It's very trendy compared to wh where it was several years ago. Uh, I do sell plants from my own collection. So if you guys are interested, that's one way to help me start my plant business is by supporting me and my channel. Moving forward into 2019, and I've been doing this for a good year now. I've been selling a lot of plant babies to you guys, and I love doing that because I actually have real plant friends, and I love being able to share from my collection. So moving on into 2019, I will be putting more effort into that so starting this coming week, I'm going to be posting up my plant babies for sale on my Instagram so that you guys can have actual pictures. And also if you see anything that you are interested in in my collection and I haven't talked about selling anything from it, reach out to me because you never know. I've done that for a bunch of you guys where I went and took a look at my mother plant and was able to give a bunch of cuttings to you guys. So just reach out to me, but I will, moving on forward into 2019 starting next week, I'm going to be posting my plants for sale on Instagram and I'll be able to get nice pictures of This is something that I do enjoy. I love selling plants. I love making plant friends. And also, it's another way for me to connect with you guys that I actually get to be real plant friends with you. So stay tuned and I'll talk about that more at the end of the video. So here's another good comment left on my Planting with Julin plant haul episode three months ago and this is from Joyce Shelby and she says she's concerned about the wire is it going to hold all of the pots and my grandma always talks about this too but when I did this DIY it was already hard for me to set it up because of just the height of the tree and with my little step ladder that I have in my studio it was hard for me to even get the wire around the tree so that was a huge task so far it hasn't given me any problems but my grandma did mention that she wants to do another wire hanging system to kind of double it up on it but I'm not trying to add any more plants on it because I don't want to come home to plants on the ground but so far it's holding up all of my planters and 
I think I did a pretty good job for my first time DIY. Here's another comment piggybacking off of opening up my own business. And this was left on my Las Vegas birthday plant haul by Jody Smith. And she asked me, would you consider selling some of your cuttings from your babies? I would really love to have some. And if you guys have purchased babies from me, I know there's a handful of you guys that have purchased babies from me throughout the year. So yes, I don't mind. And again, if there's something that you see in my collection that I haven't talked about propagating it and you want a cutting, let me know because I do that. I'll go ahead and I'll look at the plant and, and you guys are able to have a piece of it. I don't mind that at all. I'm back. I'm like, my phone died, so I'm using my mom's husband's external battery. Evie's in the house. So here's another question posted on my West Hollywood birthday plant haul from Shelby Lynn. And she asked me, how do I take care of my Peperomia raindrop? And she's struggling hardcore. So my Peperomia raindrop, I really don't want to do too much to it because I spent about $20 on it. And for me, that is a lot. Although I do spend $100 on certain plants. But $20 for a plant, I definitely don't want to kill it. I'm not really doing too much to it. I'm definitely taking care of it, like how I take care of all of my peperomias, watering once a week. And right now, I think it's living in my patio while I'm away. Other than that, I love bringing it inside of my house. I think it was in my kitchen area for the last two weeks. And I don't have it in direct sunlight. And I try to not overwater it, otherwise you're gonna get leaf drop and I definitely don't wanna do that. So that so peperomia is more on the succulent side, so definitely don't overwater and do not leave it in direct sunlight. So good luck. Let me know how your peperomia raindrop is doing. That's definitely one of my top 10 plants. I love that plant so much. So here's another comment left on one of my older Planting with Julian episodes by Cheryl Borella. And she left a comment saying that you should put your caladiums outside. I don't think they like the indoors. So if you keep up with me i don't like caladiums and at first when i was bringing caladiums into the place where i'm living at now i thought it was a good idea and i invested at least like 20 dollars on one of them i love caladiums a lot i had a bunch but they all died on me uh, they're very finicky and i find that because they're very long stemmed that once the leaf droops down and you go ahead and try to water it like a diphenbachia they won't come right back up so once the leaf drops and the stem gets gummy, that's it. Like caladiums won't perk back up. So I do not want to buy any more caladiums in my collection. I just wanted to give a little update on the caladiums that I've had in my collection. All of them are dead and I will no longer have them in my collection. So here's another comment on my Planting with Julian plant haul video by Erin S. And she asked me if I'm going to be in Phoenix when I visit Arizona. That she loved to meet up with so me. Over the three months in the fall of this year when I was filming my Arizona content, I split my time between Mesa scottsdale and phoenix and as you can see i did a lot of planting content out there and it would have been nice to do a meetup and i know a bunch of you guys do live in arizona so the next time if i ever do go to arizona i'll go ahead and mention it and see if you guys are wanting to meet up i love being able to meet you guys in person and plant talks so i think that would be really cool but didn't see the comment until now i don't think i'll ever go back to arizona anytime soon just because in the three months that i filmed content out there i got all of the content i ever wanted for my channel or that i could get as well as doing two big propagations for my pickly pear and elephant's bush so i think moving forward i would like to go into a different city state to do more plant content for my channel but whenever i do go somewhere and if you guys live in the area i would love to meet up with you guys and it's nice to be able to see and meet you guys in person and plant talk i think that's really cool hi are you doing a vlog i'm a vlogger oh that's yeah <laughs> bye watching me so um people are like i don't know i guess they don't there's not a lot of vloggers out here people are stopping in the neighborhood as they watch me film so, so. here's a question also posted on my top 10 house plants by laney spicer she asked me how do you paint your pots do you have to seal them with anything so i just painted a few pots uh and the pots that i did spray uh, some of them were terracotta i know i did spray my owl planter but i just use like the normal spray that i would spray anything else in my home for my diys and so far i haven't had any problems the few terracotta planters that i did spray the plants are doing well and it's not to the point where i'm giving them so much water that the paint is going to bleed and the chemicals are going to go to the these plant. are just sprays that i had in my potting bench from all of the other diy projects that i do around my house so nothing special so here's another comment left on my top 10 house plants this is from mala kisan 
She says, hi, Julian. Greeting from Georgia. What is the brand of the planter that you are referenced with the pink philodendron? So that particular planter is from Daiso, Japan. I have a handful of them. I love them because they're white and I love like the little details on the planters. And I constantly go to Daiso, Japan. I want to say once every two, three months and see what the garden center has. I like going into Daiso, Japan, which is a $1.50 store. It's a Japanese $1.50 store that's in my neighborhood in West Los Angeles. And there is a bunch of different Daiso Japan uh, throughout, I think, the world. I know I went to one in Singapore and everything is $1.50 in my particular location in West Los Angeles. I love going to their garden section of that store, I say like once every two months to see if there's anything new. I know I recently got a bunch of terracotta planters that I bought out. I think there was nine of them and I, I love going to that store. So yes, those are from Daiso Japan and I love going to that store. They have really cool stuff. I can literally go into that store and pretty much always walk out with a handful of stuff. It's like I never leave there empty handed, especially like for bullet journaling. Another comment left on my top 10 house plants and this is from Diane. And she says here, my Pelia doesn't have babies and I had her about three months. So with the Pelia or Pilea peppermiotes, that plant is a very giving plant. If you watch my channel, I've propagated numerous times and I just want to say be patient because my original Pelia, which was this small when I originally purchased it two years ago, till this day, it doesn't have any babies and it's been two years now in my collection. But my second mother plant that I got came with babies and I, that thing propagates like crazy. So just be patient, in time it'll give you babies. So here's a little cute comment. And I'll read the last part of her comment. This was left on my Las Vegas plant haul from Hanale Designs. And she says here, wish you weren't so busy traveling. I would give you a baby guinea pig baby. Aloha. You know what funny thing is, is that when I was younger growing up in Hawaii, I used to have a bunch of guinea pigs. And one of them, I named him Bubbles. And he was super, super cute. But I love guinea pigs. But yes, I do travel every week. And having Ebby already is a lot for me. And luckily... I have my mom here so like my mom's able to babysit Ebby whenever I travel or my grandma but this time my grandma is going to be going on this trip with me so she'll be here in Las Vegas so Ebby does live in Las Vegas more than me. Here's another question about my popular pink princess philodendron and this is left by Stila D and she says hi how's your pink princess philodendron doing would love an update video so you see it um, make an appearance on my tour videos. It's doing really good and I actually have a new leaf that is about to unfurl and I think I'd share it on the plant tour and it's absolutely adorable. So I'm kind of interested to see what the plant is going to look like when I go back home tomorrow night and I would love to see that thing unfurl a new beautiful leaf on me before I go to Egypt in a week. But I love my pink princess and if you guys watch my unboxing, it's come a long way. It's definitely like growing, giving me a few new leaves and I just, it's like almost like Christmas. You never know what you're going to get. It's like, is it going to be an all pink leaf? Is it going to be variegated? I'm hoping one day that plant will give me an all pink leaf. That would be absolutely plant goals for me with that one. So here's a fun comment left on one of my Planting with Jolin propagating videos and this was left by Owl Sands. That's a cute name. She says here, I love owls. Your huge owl planter is amazing. Would love to see an owl planter feature video. I will try to do that for you before I go to Egypt. I love owls. You guys see my plant collection and I kind of would be interested to see them all grouped up together. I've actually never ganged them up together. So that would be a really fun video for me to do. So stay tuned. We'll definitely love to get that on the channel before I leave. If not, I'll do it when I come back. Here's a comment left on one of my Planting with Jolene propagation videos by Cheryl Borella. And she says here, I would love to see you make a combination succulent cactus in one pot. Uh, can't wait for you to do that. I'm a fan of yours. So I was a big fan of doing that. That was a really big trend for me when I was living in the Bay Area and Las Vegas prior to me living in Santa Monica. I used to gang them up into low big dishes and I'll go ahead and insert a picture here so you can see what my style was back then. Uh, moving now into 2018, 2019, I love my planters all separately with little babies in them. That's like the trending look that you see in my collection now. But I want to say like two, three, four years ago, I was a huge fan into making 
cactus and succulent gardens and I'll do that for the channel maybe when I come back from Egypt that would be something fun for me to do another comment left on one of my planting with Jelaine propagating videos by Jelaine Thompson she says here I love your videos so relaxing and wish I could watch every night maybe you could do more of them more often and even longer would be good as always love your videos thank you so much so my planting with Jelaine episodes as you see I always take a look at where my collection is at with all of the plant shopping and plant trays and cuttings that come into my collection by the week. I'm constantly making Planting with Julian videos and if I don't have anything to plant up, which is not the case because I always have something to plant up, I would go ahead and do more propagating videos. For some reason, I have so many plants that it ends up being long episodes. So sometimes you see maybe a planting with Julian that's 20 minutes and then sometimes you see it an hour long. I love doing either or and I know a bunch of you guys just love having it on while you guys drink a cup of coffee or tea. So stay tuned, I will definitely do more planting with Julian episodes after Egypt. But right now I think I definitely want to just stick to focusing on where my collection is at and highlighting a bunch of babies before I go to Egypt. So I'll do more planting videos after on Egypt. On the same propagating planting with Julian episode, a comment left by Lenny Min. And she says here, with the amount of plants you have, are you not struggling with spider mites, mealybugs, etc? And the answer is no. I, I struggle with ants. A lot of ants and I think I might have seen mealybugs maybe once or twice in my collection but it was like on a plant that was dying and I threw it away. Besides my ant and spider problem during the summertime, um, I don't really struggle with spider mites or mealybugs. Um, so my avocado seed was one of the plants that got attacked by mealybugs and it was already dying. And it was actually in my patio. I ended up just throwing it away. I wasn't really concerned about trying to save the avocado plant because we go through avocados every day at our restaurant here. So I could easily go ahead and do a whole new avocado if any of my plants do come up with that problem, I'll definitely go ahead and film a video on that because I know you guys ask a lot of questions on if I have any pest problems. Here's another question left on my Planting with Julian propagation video by Sharon Buning. And she says here, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correct, uh, she says, wow, lots of nice plants. Love the owl. Does Jade like full sun? And the answer is no. I had a bunch of Jades just kind of hanging out in Kira's backyard when I was living with her for a little bit. And what sun there was that day and those two days that I had the plants out there got sunburned. So I don't think it is a good idea to put your jay or succulents in full sun if you look at all of my succulents in my patio they get sun but it like the sun moves so it's not like they're getting direct sun like throughout the day so i know i don't suggest having your jade in full sun now as far as for like my jade tree it's kind of living against the house so it does get shaded by the house where it's not in sun full time so i think that's why my jade tree is doing really well so here's a comment that has nothing to do with me but by crazy cactus collector on one of my come with me's and i think this was in my west hollywood come with me and this person states here wow beautiful variegated monstera it's on my wish list too uh, were those uh, for sale at the shop and the answer is no it wasn't for sale at the shop because if not i would have bought it and that is definitely one of the plants that is on my wish list that I would like to get. And I haven't seen it actually for sale in any of the come with me's in all of the states and cities I've been to. I haven't seen a variegated monstera for sale. If not, I would buy it and I would probably spend a lot of money on it too because it is a wish list plant of mine. So here's another question in regards to opening up a business and on one of my come with me's from Jacqueline Laricios. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correct. And she says here, uh, Please let your subscribers know if and when your Etsy page comes out so we can help your channel. Some YouTubers do Patreon too. So I do have an Etsy shop. I do have an eBay store and I'm on all of those apps. If you look at my end page, I list them all where you can find my stores. But right now I like doing PayPal because I can avoid the fees. If I go ahead and I put my plants up on my Etsy page or on eBay, I'm gonna have to have it a lot more expensive because of the fees. Um, so stay tuned, I'll go ahead and kind of figure out what I wanna do with my plant business that I'm doing out of my own home. Uh, I'm definitely loving being able to have real plant friends and it's nice to see my plants go to different places around the world, especially my jade tree. 
but for now I'll go ahead and start posting them on Instagram so you guys can see what I have for sale and they reach out to me on a direct message so here's a question on my planting with Julian propagation video this is from Danya Woolen and she says here do you have drainage holes in your pots most of them have drainage holes and some of them don't I've never had any problems with any of the planters that doesn't have any holes and Kira's collection in her house for the most part on that on those shelving units do not have holes and she likes to have her planters that way and she doesn't have any problems so here's a comment left on one of my come with me's from Monet R she says here I'm so jealous of your locations your tours are always lit even though if it's not a question I do want to comment back and say yes I am very fortunate to live where I live in Southern California and have so many options when it comes to plant retail where there's a plant shop plant nursery plant hole in the wall flea market farmers market you guys see it on my come with me's I'm very fortunate and I am very well aware of that um, because I know a lot of you guys don't have the plant options as far as where, where you plant shop uh, like I do. So I'm very uh, well aware of that. So yes, I live in a good place and it's definitely plant friendly run there all year long too, which I'm very fortunate. So here's a question coming from one of my come with me's in Arizona from Sharon Bunin. Oh my God, when you open the door to the house plants, I said, wow, so you must do a lot of flying then. That would be hard to see something and not be able to get it. Safe travels, plant friends. So... As far as for Arizona and Las Vegas, I'm fortunate enough where my plants just traveled back by car or by plane. I've never had any problems bringing them back on the plane or on a car ride. So I think if I did travel anywhere else around the world and wanted to get a plant, obviously I wouldn't be able to do that unless it was in the United States. Um, so no, I mean, if anything, if I say like if I went shopping on the East Coast, I would love to bring a plant back that would be able to fit in my carry-on. If it was like a really rare plant that I haven't found on the West Coast. So here's another comment that I want to reply back on one of my Come With Me episodes in Arizona. This is from Alana Marquez. She says here, I've been loving your content. I wish Oahu had more nurseries like that. So coming from Hawaii and being a Hawaii girl, I do know that for the most part, where do you plant shop in Hawaii? As far as for plant shopping in Hawaii, and I've experienced it with my grandma, there isn't any really boutique plant shops. I would love to go on Oahu and film content there the next time I am on Oahu. And I lived on Oahu for a handful of years. But yes, unfortunately, there is not a lot of plant retail spaces in Hawaii. I think that'd be fun actually to open up a plant shop in Hawaii. But I'm, I'm content being in California. So here's a comment on one of my Come With Me episodes in Arizona by Heather Mitchell. She says, would you please show the other plants, garden plants sometimes, and not only house plants, succulents, and cacti? And the answer is no, because this is what my channel is curated to and this is what I am good at and what I know. I don't do any in-ground planting in my home. I don't own the house that I'm living at and if I did, I still would probably have majority of my plants in planters and styled in and outside of my so home. My channel is curated to what I am passionate about which is house plants, cactus and succulents. So I think it'd be really pointless for me to make the episode longer and talk about plants and annuals and perennials and in-ground plants that I'm not even of any interest of and I don't know anything about so it's just gonna be cactus house plants and succulents and YouTube is such a big space that I'm sure there's a lot of channels out there that can provide that kind of content for you but my channel is very curated to house plant cactus and succulents so here's another comment that I would like to reply back on one of my plant hauls planting with Julian episodes by Anna Lawton and she says here hi Julian I've been watching your videos for a while love your videos on plants and she likes the bucket with the handles and the shovel in light blue where did you get it from and I do mention this from time to time because a lot of you guys asked that and the bucket was a gift from Kira so thank you Kira I absolutely love that and I love the fact that there's a cover on it because when it rains all of my other soil gets rained on and it gets super super wet but with the cover on it I love that a lot so I highly suggest maybe going to a big box store or like a Marshalls Home Goods TJ Maxx and go into their aisles and see if you can find something similar and the shovel I actually got from Daiso Japan I know I did a giveaway on the same shovel that I have on my channel a couple months back so I stay tuned I'll do more giveaways when it comes into the new year so here's another comment that I want to reply back on my West Hollywood plant haul from Angela Roach and she says here I love and enjoy your videos you introduced me to so many plants and succulents I don't have the space for a lot of plants so I will enjoy yours 
with you on screen and I love that so I know a lot of you guys don't have the space like I do or just maybe the place where you live at might be really harsh during the winter season like right now you guys might be stuck in the snow so yes I hope you guys can enjoy my plants with me through YouTube and the internet. Here's another comment I want to reply back on and this was left on my plant haul plant friend cutting haul and this was from Evelyn's little haul that she gave me it was a handful of cuttings and this was left by Diana Moore and she says here um, oh my god so happy to have found your channel I fell in love with plants over a year ago and none of my friends share the same love as I do would love to have you as a plant friend I know a lot of you guys always mention that in the comments section that you do not have any plant friends in your circle but I always say this to people ask around with your network of people whether it's the people that you go to church with or work with or at school with because you never know who's a plant person until you ask them and for all you know the people that you see every day at work or at school or at church or any other physical activity sports that you do might be into plants and then you guys have a whole nother thing that you guys can connect on so just ask around because you never know you can't tell who a plant person is I always say that so here's another good question and this was left on one of my planting with Julian episodes by Bella underscore Vita and she says here, if you ever have to move, what in the world would you do with all of your plants? I'm not sure I could just leave or give mines away. And I want to say this. If I move somewhere in the United States, they will all come with me. If I move out of country, I will sell all of my plants, keep all of my beautiful planters because my planters are curated to the certain aesthetic and color schemes that I love. So I would sell all of my plants, use that money up to rebuild my whole new plant collection wherever I move out of country and I would keep my precious dear planters that are dear to my heart that I absolutely love and take them with me then refill them up with my new plants in my new state. So that would be my plant plan if I ever leave the country. Other than that all of my plants will stay with me if I live somewhere else in the US. Yes, that is a good question and I don't want to think about having to sell all my plants but I am very open to leaving the country and being somewhere else. So here's another question on my Planting with Julian episode by Emmy Plants and she says here when would you water the succulents you just planted it and how often do you water your succulents? I do not water my succulents very often. I do miss them every week but for the but most for part like once every seven to ten days depending on the time of the year. But I always ask people when people ask me this question, like where's the plant living? Uh, where do you live? So that I can kind of give a better answer to that because if you are living in the desert and the plant is living outside, then obviously you would have to water it more often than if the plant was living indoors and not in direct heat as often as a plant would be outside. So it just depends on where the plant is and where you live. So here's another question, and actually this is a good question, and this was left on my top 10 house plants by Hanale Design. She says, do you water with just regular tap water? I see a lot of white pottery spots. And the answer is yes I do use tap water With my collection being this big I do use tap water although if my plant collection was on the smaller side and say for my house plants I would definitely want to use like purified water without minerals but with my cactus and succulents I'm not very finicky when it comes to giving them tap water and I live in Southern California where I know in different parts of the world the tap water wouldn't be as clean as where I live so I guess maybe it just depends on where you live in the world um, I definitely know like if I was living in a third world country where the tap water wasn't good to drink I would definitely not want to have my plants have that water but for Southern California yes all of my plants do get tap water if my plant collection was on the smaller side and it was just house plants and I would definitely want to go ahead and do that for my plants and give them better water Here's another question and this is left on my pot of fame and this is by Chantel Constant and she said awesome job with the Ziploc bag and what other plants would work good for this method and I want to say I think peperomias would do good in there like the really succulent type peperomias I'm sure begonias would do good in there and when I come back from Egypt I'll go ahead and do more propagation videos by plant cuttings in that method the ziplock method so stay tuned for that so i have about half an hour left guys and the sun's going down to have to go to work so i'll answer a few more questions this is a comment left on one of my planting with julian episodes from sarah kalnidge sorry if i'm pronouncing your last name wrong and she says here i'm totally loving your channel and she recently got the sensevera cylindrica 
and she wanted any specific information on light and water so I treat my sensivarias like succulents they're succulent type plants so I don't over water them and I keep them in my patio for the most part most of my sensivarias are my patio or inside of my house maybe I have a few in the front of my house but again I don't have a lot of strong sun coming down on them so I don't like having them in full sun so partial sun and I don't water them often because I don't want them to rot. Uh, they're succulent type plants and they're very drought tolerant type of plants too. So don't overwater and do not have them in full sun. Let me know how your Sensivaria cylindrica is doing. I love mines a lot and they give me lots of babies. So I have the starfish version and then I just have the regular spear version. I love them both and they're really easy plants. So here's a nice comment that I want to reply back on and this is in regards to my pot of fame peperomia edition by JMHM52. She says here, I bought my first peperomia because of you and I really love it. Uh, so yeah guys, I think that's super cool that I'm able to introduce you guys to different plants and I know there's a lot of plants out there so uh, being able to share my plant content with you guys and sharing all these different plants that are out there especially with my Come With Me series it also helps me get introduced to new plants that i maybe never seen before so I love my channel and that I'm able to do that for you guys. So here's another comment left on my Los Angeles Collective Plant Hall from Angela Roach. She says, you look so nice, love your vintage hat and dress. Thank you so much Angela. She says here, the Hawaiian snow bush is so cutely unique. I hope you have better luck this time around. And the answer is no. It died. I will not get another one. And it's just like my maiden hair. They're very drama plants. And that is the last time I'm going to buy the Hawaiian snow bush. Unfortunately, that is a very drama plant for me. Even if I love it so much, that was the second time around. There will be no third time. Unlike my alocasia African mask. There's another comment that I also really want to reply back on. And one of my come with me's in Arizona from Wilson Bolima. And he says here, hi Julen, I'm I'm the greatest fan of yours. I hope you come here in the Philippines so you could see different plants that you've never seen in your plant shopping. Love your videos, love your grandma. Oh, hello out in the Philippines. I would love to go to the Philippines one day. I haven't been there before. I've been traveling the world now alone for 11 years and this trip to Egypt is actually the first time I'm bringing somebody with me and it's my grandma. But, and I will also go ahead and film plant content out in Egypt, so stay tuned. I'm kind of researching on where I want to go and how I want to do this for the channel. Um, but hopefully I will be able to go to the Philippines one day and I would love to put content on my channel all the way out in Philippines. So here's another good comment. I also want to reply back on one of my come with me's to downtown LA from Mosaic Rose. I love it when you go to the nurseries and find something you buy. Great choices, Julian. You travel so much and work so hard will you eventually get a chance to take time off and the answer is yes I'm going to Egypt so I do work hard a lot but I do take the time out to travel out of country and I will be leaving the country in about a week and a half so stay tuned I'm really excited for that but yes I do work every day with no days off in two different states along with keeping up on both of my channels I try my best to do daily uploads on this channel and I try to at least do one video a week on my vlog channel so here's another good question on one of my planting with Julian episode this is by Libby Allen and she says here this was a great video Julian I'm really excited for your gift giving of plants this year have you ever tried planting seeds of plants I hope you have a great day X and the answer is when I was a kid yes so when I was an in intermediate which is sixth to eighth grade I was a huge fan of planting vegetables and fruits by seeds in my backyard and that's when I got into planting was at that age and in Hawaii you can grow all year long so that was like the only time I did seeds but fast forward now no I haven't I don't think I have the patience for it and with all of the different plant retail spaces that I have around me I can just go ahead and buy the plant but I did when I was a kid. Okay, here's another question in regards to my greenhouse by Casey Henderson. She says, do you really need a greenhouse in SoCal? It, I don't think it gets cold enough. And the answer is no. I use my greenhouse just to house my rescues, my propagations, and things that I'm trying to save or things that I'm trying to sell. No, I don't need a greenhouse, uh, but I love having one. And if I did live in like the East Coast, maybe I might have one and probably maybe indoors, but I definitely don't need one in Southern California and I've been doing plant life now for several years and this is the first time I got a greenhouse um, and prior to the greenhouse I have been doing fine with my plants so no you definitely don't need a greenhouse in Southern California so here's another comment on one of my come with me's in Arizona that I want to reply back on from Ghost Squaw War it says here hey there Julian, Grandma and Ebby it's kind of sad to hear that this is going to be 
uh, your last time in Arizona looking forward to your next tour so yes I won't be going back to Arizona because I've been doing Arizona for three months and I think that is a lot of Arizona content and from my experience with Arizona I don't need any more time in Arizona because I pretty much did everything I wanted to do for the channel so moving forward I probably go to a different state and city to do more plant content for my channel so stay tuned and here's another comment by Libby Allen on my plant adventure episode and I just kind of want to reply back on that. It says, this was generally a good video that I've seen in a long time. And I want to say thank you so much. Uh, my plant adventure series is a new series to my channel. And one of the series that I'm very proud of that I introduced on my channel this year. So stay tuned for more creative content on my channel. I definitely love plant adventures and I'm kind of interested to see where I take it in 2019. And also here's another comment that I want to reply back and this is on Diva Mom Judy 808 and she says here happy birthday. Love watching your channel. Maybe one day I'll catch you at Dirty Fork. Me and my big family love coming there. Yes so if you guys are ever in Las Vegas please come by our restaurants. I'll go ahead and put all of the information in the description box and if I'm in Las Vegas I'm usually at our restaurants and our pizza shop is relocating to a bigger spot which will open in the middle of January when I'm in Egypt. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited to reopen into a bigger space and create a whole new restaurant. Hey guys, it is getting dark, oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the community page and see if there's any other questions I wanna answer before I wrap up the Q&A. So Mini D asks here, you seem to travel a lot to Las Vegas and Arizona. How do you manage your time working, visiting nurseries, filming, taking care of your plant babies? Do you have time to sleep? Can you do a day in a life of Julian? I do travel a lot and it takes a lot of effort and time to go ahead and manage everything I do. You can go ahead and watch my vlog channel Miss Julian where I do a lot of vlogging and you get to kind of get a taste of a different side of me and what I do from day to day and especially you can see like my different lives in different states but moving forward into 2019 I would like to change my schedule so stay tuned for that because I definitely do need uh, breaks throughout the weeks because right now I don't have a day off at all I work every day. So here's another question from Kiara Pile. Hopefully I pronounced that correct, sorry. It says here, my question would be who or what got you interested in plants in the first place? And the answer is, I've been into plants since I was a kid. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I got into plants when I was an intermediate and I loved like doing all things garden related so vegetables and fruits I used to do a lot of planting in ground in our backyard and I used to make a lot of pumpkin pie at that age and banana bread so I think it started from there and then now growing uh, into my adult years I love house plants cactus and succulents now but I definitely had to be because I was a Hawaii girl and being surrounded around nature and having the opportunity to plant in ground in my yard I think really got me into plants and right now if you guys watch my channel it's been plant therapy for me uh, with how I am dealing with the loss of my grandpa Cheryl and she says if you had to pick one of your favorite plants out of your whole collection what would it be and I can't answer that question because I love them a lot and that is why I have my top 10 series that I do from time to time highlighting a bunch of them because it changes by the Another day question from Lilo Carson uh, how did you come up with the name Ebi for your cute doggy and Ebi means shrimp in Japanese uh, so my mom came up with that name and I love it a lot because she's like a little shrimp and she also asked here how do you keep up with your water scheduling for your plants um, I just make time it's like my daily routine my cactus and succulents they don't get a lot of water so I don't really stress out about them I do them maybe twice a month depends on the time of the year and for my house plants especially with my traveling I water them right before I go on my trip and then I water them as soon as I come back other than that I water them once a week and I miss them twice a week Angela Vide says here which fertilizer do you use and when so I have a fertilizing video on my channel I just use a regular miracle Grow, and I do that at least twice a month if I can with my busy schedule and the amount of plants that I have during the growing season and right now it's winter so I'm not doing anything Mary for them. Shoemaker says that she has a small jade tree and she's considering doing a bonsai. If I had any bonsais, any tips. I had a bonsai when I was living in Hawaii in my early 20s and I got it from a farmer's market on the big island and I haven't had a bonsai since then so I can't really give you any personal tips but I would love to get a bonsai in the near future. Hi, I love all the beautiful plants. I live on the East Coast. Does it take a while for some of the plants to adjust to the weather here? 
uh, you and your family have a happy new year. Problem is, is that I live on the west coast, so I can't answer that. Where I live, it is summer all year long, so I don't have to worry about wintering my plants. Here's another one from Plant Maven. How on earth do you grow a variegated elephant's bush successfully? That's a good question. Uh, I struggled with my first one in Las Vegas. It died and I repurchased another one. So I haven't propagated that particular one yet and I don't want to touch it because that is a very finicky plant. So here's another question from Libby Allen on my Instagram feed. She says here, are you planning on going anywhere else for plants in the road, hopefully England? And my answer is yes. I will definitely go ahead and film content wherever I go, whenever I travel. I definitely like to go ahead and film for both channels. So stay tuned. I would love to go back to England and Europe to do more plant content. And my last question here is from hey, it's underscore Davy, and she says, Do you sleep? Uh, it seems like you're always on a go. Love your videos. No, I rarely sleep. I'm usually sleeping anywhere between four to six hours. Like, say for instance, today I was able to sleep for seven hours because I don't have to get up at 4 30 in the morning to teach in Las Vegas, but I do stay up late editing every All right, night. So I moved into the house because as you can see it was getting dark and it's super cold in Las Vegas. So that is going to wrap up the Q&A section of today's episode and I want to go ahead and just kind of wrap up the video with my 2018 thoughts and my goals for 2019. So as far as for 2018, my year in plants, I really had a good year. There was a bunch of plants that I was able to acquire in my collection that I'm really happy about. A bunch of my plants that I was really happy to get this year that were on my dream plant list. I'll go ahead and try to think of them on the top of my head. My Pink Princess Philodendron, love that plant a lot. That was a plant order. My Begonia Spotted Maculata, it was also on my dream list for a long time. So I was able to get that on my $25 challenge haul for Los Angeles. My Peperomia Raindrop and my Peperomia Hope were also on my dream list as well for Peperomias. And I also want to say like my Hoya collection in general grew so much this year. And also my variegated Amac Euphorbia are like that's definitely a cactus goal for me. And that was like my number one cactus that I wanted to get in my collection. So, I mean, just those plants alone, not including all of the plants that I got for 2018 has definitely been a good year in plants for me. And as far as for my content on my channel, I grew so much. I put out so many different series on my channel that I'm very proud about. My Meet My Plant Friends series did so good this year. I can't wait to put more content in that series as well as my Plant Adventure series, which is my newest series on my channel. As far as for my Plant Tour series, I'll try to go ahead and do episodes for that maybe once every three to four months, depending because my collection is so big, but I do love breaking it down. And as you can see, I had to split it up in four different sections for my Santa Monica collection. And those content, they take a while to make and I really put my whole heart into it. I know for my patio planter collection, I invested over 48 hours uh, from beginning to end to get that up on my channel. So those are very lengthy, time consuming videos because my collection is so big, but the end result is so amazing and I love that you guys are able to enjoy the tours. And my come with me series are doing really good. I love that and it's able to get me out into the plant community wherever I travel and be able to share plant life with you guys in different cities. So I love that a lot and I'm also to able to see what plant life is uh, different parts of the world. So I love that series as well. I will keep that on the channel and my pot of fame. I love doing that monthly series as well on my channel because it also gives me, you know, some sit down time to highlight the plants that are doing so good in my collection. And my plant hauls, I can't can't go without plant hauls. So I think my channel is doing really good. I love all of the different type of series that I have created for the channel. And I can't wait to see what is going to happen in 2019. As far as for 2019 goals, so there's five plants I would definitely love to get for 2019 that has been on my dream plant list for a long time. The variegated Monstera Deliciosa would love to have that. Never seen that for sale in person, uh, but would like to get that. I'm not a huge fan of Calatheas, but I would love to get the Calathea Orbifolia. Never seen that plant in person. I just love the big foliage on that. I also would like to get a, a Raphidophora Tetrasperma. That is also plant goals for me. I've never seen that plant uh, for sale in person. I would love to also get uh, Tritiscantia tricolor. Never seen that one in person either. And then the last plant for my top five plants that I would want to get for 2019 is a Sensevaria Masonia. And that is the Wellfin. I would love to get that sense of area because my sense of area collection is gold, especially with my copper tone in it now. Uh, but yeah, you know, even me getting the copper tone this year was like a really good 
plant goal for me that I was able to check off on my list. So that is my plant wish list. My short five, there's more, but at least the top five, I would love to get those for 2019. And I would love to be able to get it in person so I can pick and choose. And that's something that I like to do with plant shopping. And all the retail spaces that I go to, I'm very fortunate enough to be able to buy them in person and choose them. Versus buying it online, I love going and I'm fortunate enough to go into different plant retail spaces and buy them in person. As far as for my plant life for 2019, I would like to invest more time into selling plants. So I will be posting up my plants for sale on my Instagram page. And you can go ahead and DM me there for now until I figure out where I want to take my little business to. So that is the first step. And I know a bunch of you guys already have purchased so many plants for me in the last year. So thank you guys for supporting my channel. Any plant orders that are made from now until January 7, uh, I'm going to have a little New Year's sale. I will go ahead and include a J cutting from my tree. So any orders placed from now up until January 7, which is when I leave for Egypt, if you purchase any plants from me, I'll go ahead and add a J cutting as a little New Year's sale gift. So reach out to me on Planting with Julian on Instagram for that. And I think that's going to wrap up today's video. It's already late and I have to head on out and get glammed up to dance the night away. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A plant talk. I'll go ahead and wrap up the video here. I think we've done a lot for this episode and I will go ahead and do a Q&A plant talk once every three months, answering your questions in the comments and also kind of talking about where my plant life is at the moment and i know moving forward i will definitely not get any more maiden hairs or hawaiian bushes in my plant collection moving forward for 2019 but i hope you guys have been enjoying my content for 2018 and stay tuned for everything that i have planned for you guys for 2019 thank you guys so much for supporting my channel if you're new welcome hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified whenever i do an upload i try my best to do daily uploads i know as far as for me being in egypt i will try to double film and double upload and have them scheduled so that there's content going up on my channel while i'm away ideally i would like to have a video up every other day or every three days while i'm away and then when i come back from egypt i'll go back to daily also stay tuned for more plant talk q a episodes on my channel i'll try to do it once every three months and i'll go ahead and answer your questions that you guys leave in the comments section and also it's a way for me to connect with you guys and just kind of sit down on a casual plant talk so i hope you guys enjoyed my first q a plant talk on my channel i'll see you guys soon happy new years happy holidays and stay tuned for my very last episode for 2018 which i'm so excited it'll be up tomorrow until next time I'll Aloha from Las Vegas, Nevada, the Ninth Island. Happy New Year. Bye.